to the deadly explosion in the Bronx that killed one woman and injured eight others. This morning, investigators are looking into whether gas caused that fiery blast. Here's a live, or excuse me, a look at the row of homes before and after the blast. You can see the damage. One home is now demolished, and at least two others are destroyed. The explosion happened Tuesday morning in the Longwood section at a home on Fox Street near Intervale Avenue. We'll have more on the victims coming up in a moment, but first, CBS News John Diaz joins us live from the scene with the latest developments this morning. John. Chris and Mary, police are not letting us any closer to the scene than when we're standing here about a block away, and that is due to safety reasons and also because the police investigation, it is still ongoing. But as we zoom down the block here, uh, you could see the scene right here behind me, the rear of the scene. You can see what was once a building, now a pile of rubble. Three other buildings were damaged, and this morning we were told the victims who survived and were taken to the hospital are expected to recover. Looking like a scene out of a movie, exclusive video shows a powerful Bronx explosion that sent debris from a building on Fox Street flying in the air and rocking this entire community. Minutes later, police were on the ground racing toward the danger. All right, back out, back out, back out. Rescuing 83 year old Yolanda Jimenez, who was trapped underneath furniture and rubble. Right this, I'm gonna toast. Her family says that chaos couldn't have come at a worse time. Let's go. Get her over the couch. Since she was home recovering from a recent heart attack. It's, it's not easy, you know. This isn't easy. Armando Garcia is her nephew. He says the explosion did come with a small warning beforehand. Her neighbor frantically showed up. He had put knocked on her door because he smelled gas. And so he went in to ask her. If there was any, you know, if she had a leak or something. She didn't smell it, but he said he, he, he smelled it. And then while well, they sat down, they were talking. And when they were talking, I guess that's when the explosion happened. That neighbor is captured on video alerting officers. There was no hesitation. They ran right in. We were very lucky today for, to save a life. But eight people, including five officers, were injured. They suffered smoke inhalation. And tragically, a 77-year-old woman did not survive. Authorities have identified her as Martha Degbasta. Neighbors say she lived here for years, and the loss is devastating for them. There were two sisters from the fire building. Unfortunately, one of them has uh, succumbed to the injuries and has, um, has passed away. Now, Con Edison says that all gas services have been restored to all homes except for one. We are live this morning from the Longwood section of the Bronx. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.